Good morning. Uh, this is Saranan. So I would like to share you the content, <clears throat> like contextual tools. The different types of contextual tools are available in human computer interaction. Most specifically, the FITS law is going to identifying the different varieties of contextual tools are available and uh, show you uh, specific purpose about the particular tools, everything. So we have to say it now. Generally in designing the web interfaces should be having a different types of contextual tools. This web interfaces design, it should concentrate, it should be play a major role in the human computer interactions. Interactive web pages having proper interactions within multiple peoples. So far they have to make and more concentrate in the field of contextual making. Most desktop application, they have a separate functionality from the data. It's like a menu bar, toolbars, and palettes forms isolation of the application functionality. Either the user choose a tool to use on the data or make a selection and then apply it in the tools. With both the gesture and touch-based interfaces, interactions or happens directly with the content. The content is an interface. The, instead of being contained in separate area of the functionality, the actions feel close to the objects is being having proper interactions with the data. The fits, the how to identify different types of laws is a ergonomic principles that tie the size of the target and its contextual proximity to ease of use. The time to acquire a target is a function of a distance to and size of the target is putting tools in context makes for lightweight interaction. Instead of interacting with the functional separately, they can bring or bring the functionality into the content with the contextual tools. The contextual tools are the web version of the desktop right-click menus the, instead of having to right click or reveal your menu, we have a reveal tool in the context with the content. These are all the list of uh, tools will be most useful for the contextual making. The always visible tool, it play in contextual tools directly in the content. And the hover reveal tool, it show the content or the contextual in the mouse over the toggle reveal tool, your master, the switch to toggle on off context tools for the page. The multi-level tool, the progressively reveal the actions based on user interactions. The secondary menu, you show your secondary menu is usually by right-clicking on the object. Always visible tool is the context tool in your list is work well when the number of action is skipped to the minimum. The Gmail is provide a single always visible tool in its list of messages, it start rating or flagging the emails. It's simply clicking the star flags, the messages as important will going to get displayed. Hover reveal tool is instead of making contextual tool always visible, can show them in the demand. One way to do this is to reveal the tool when the user passes the mouse over the object. It's like the type of a <clears throat> tool, it's going to identify you how to use the hover reveal tools. It's to anti patterns, the how the hover and cover the particular content. The contextual tool in overlay, they provide an overlaying feels heavy, heavier. An overlay create a slight contextual switch for the user attention. 
the overlay will usually cover other information also. Most implementations shift the content slightly between the normal view and the overlay view, causing the user to take a moment to adjust to the changes of the content. The best practice for hover relay tool is how to hide the contextual tools behind your mouse over and how the actions are secondary and you want to make the content more important. Avoid using the overlay when revealing the additional tools. When additional tools are revealed, make sure that all parts of the page is remained stable. Make sure revealed icons are clear and understandable. When possible, just use the text labels. The toggle reveal tool is the variations of and two previous approaches is to not to show any contextual tool until a special mode is set on the page. The Sudbeam soft mode is available here. However, if the mode is soft, it is usually acceptable. It just adds the usual noise or it does not restrict the user from is doing other actions. This is a nice way to keep the interaction lightweight. The multi-level tools is the contextual tool that can reveal the progressively with the multi-level tools. A set of tools that get revealed after a user clicks, additional tools are revealed when hovering over the newly visible tools. It's like an example like the normal stages, click activation and hover expose, how it is happening. The radial menus, first it's experienced though the users can rely on muscles memory rather than having to look directly at menu, menu item. Second, the proximity and targeting size make the menu easy to navigate since the revealed menu items are all equally close at hands. There should be of and buttons in the multi-level tools, which is nothing but menu plus button is called like a buttons. These buttons are is useful when there are multiple actions and we can one of the action to be default having. There is a secondary menu. The desktop applications have provides the contextual tool for long time in form of secondary menu. The Google map, they use a secondary menu that are actively by the right click on the route. It shows the additional route commands. This is an accessibility in within secondary menu. is to active the menu by holding down the mouse for about one second. It's clicking and holding down on that application, the top will reveal the secondary menu without requiring right click activations. The general practices for contextual tool is, the contextual tools are most useful for reducing the user's path to a completing the task. The users of contextual tools, when you have no way to select the elements and operate on them as a whole, these situations, these practices are most helpful. How to use the contextual tool? When you want to shorten the path, the user must check to complete the task for item shows on the page. So this will most helpful to identify or make a proper step, uh, know about the contextual tool in the web designing. So I hope you understand this will mostly helpful to you during the web application designing situations. So thank you.